Congratulations, Ken Snyder. You're here uh, as the winner of today's pitch competition. And we want to talk to you a little bit more about your film that you proposed, The Factory. But first, um, tell us a little bit about your background. My wife, Marcia Jarmel, and I have been making films together, documentaries, for 20 years. Our last film, Havana Curveball, toured on the island last spring. And in that period, we met this story. And the story kind of grabbed us and would not let go. And the story is about a man named Equis Alfonso and his efforts to open and keep open the factory, which is a repurposed old factory, which is now a vanguard art space with very provocative art, dance, music, theater, experimental vocals, and every manifestation of art you can imagine. It's also interesting because in uh, the socialist context of Cuba, this is an example of entrepreneurship. And there are levels of complication and story which are very interesting to us. Tell us a little bit about that creative process and, and why you are so inspired by Cuba. Obviously, it's rapidly changing right now. Um, the world is very different in Cuba day by day, and um, hopefully a lot more Americans will be exposed to that culture. What did you want to do um, by bringing that forward through this film? Well, my connection to Cuba is a family one. My father was sheltered there during the 1940s when he was a war refugee from Europe. So it's been part, Cuba's been part of my life for a long time. I'm also a Spanish speaker, and the culture fascinates me. It's much more complicated and nuanced than most Americans know. It is a revolutionary socialist place, and with all of the complications that that brings, and the failures and the successes, and yet it's a place we know frighteningly little about. One of our closest neighbors, we're not political filmmakers, we don't go there, but I'm very interested in culture and in human drama. And this ultimately is really a human drama about a, a very well-known musician and visual artist who is trying to help move Cuba into the, the next stage of its, of its evolution. Wonderful. Obviously, this is a pitch competition, so tell other aspiring screenwriters, filmmakers, um, how you went into this and what your best advice would be to you know, anyone else who's thinking about you know, approaching this panel in the future or writing their own um, screenplay, what they should do, what's, what's your best advice? Well, I, I would say, let me say three things about that. The number one most important thing is if you're going to make a movie or a, a a, a comedy series, any form of media, you have to be deeply passionate about it because it requires inordinate amounts of persistence. And if there's a personal uh, connection to it, I think that's a good thing. It doesn't have to be your story, but it has to be something that has more meaning to you than just uh, entertainment or calling card or I want to be on TV, obviously. And the, in terms of my process, what was very helpful was on my very first draft, I Skyped three friends of mine, other filmmakers, one at a time, and practiced the pitch, and each one of them brought something different to their critique. One of them said, start with your personal story. One of them said, do more music. One of them said, do, more, do, less, polit or do less sociology. And all of those really helped me refine the pitch. And I've workshopped it also with my wife and my son, Jaden, who as a 15-year-old is a no BS kind of kid, and he has his radar up for any, any, any inkling of inauthenticity. And he really helped me hone my pitch to what mattered. Perfect. Well, congratulations to you. And we look forward to seeing more about this film. Thank you so much, Tia. Thank you.